So now that, that one's done. Now gotta open the world map. Where do I got to go? So I got, I still got three along here. Okay, so go here for this one first. Isla. I thought this might have been a way to get out the other way, but it's definitely not. Okay. Found a chest back here, though. 20 bloody highs. Really didn't need it. All right, so now I got to go all the way up here. Okay. Am I going to right? No. Once I get out here, I'll get on my chocobo, make stuff a little bit faster, travel through here a little bit faster. We're in the right direction now. Nope. Don't want to do it, y'all, right now. Supposed to be in here? All right, so I'm a little bit confused. What is going on? Uh, man, it's all fine and good, good, good and dandy and all, but. Okay, so now I'm going a complete wrong way. All right. Crap. 
What the devil, dude? Seems safe enough at least. What is going on here? Ah, did you too heed the call? Heed the call? No, I. I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I. I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Mm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this... where you live? It is my home. The others, they... they heeded the call. You keep saying that. Uh, what do you mean? They came here to perform the rite. Just as King Barnabas instructed, this village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves? Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. They sound possessed. They want to be saved. Forgive me, but did another foreigner like me come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from stone? Yes. He is staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation. All right, we'll see. I gotta go meet. <laughs> at least the third chair still lives. Uh... Let's go and find him. Um, let's see. Excuse me. Are you with the Undying? I am. And so it would appear, are you? Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Then I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill. Much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. The more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their Lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their Savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. 
I too swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... It is different. It is more. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashyyyk. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord, but I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Oh boy. Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go find out what. Stay here. Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. Echoes as well. Found her. Alright, so these fools wanna they they wanna try me again. Ready, brother? Ready. Boom. That was easy. What now? Probably like a mini boss. Yep. Seen that coming. Uh, we meet again. I've killed your kind before. Where? As that takes way too long, man. I tried to get out the way, but it would not let me. There we go. I just think he's a little bit more tankier than I thought he was. God dang it. Got to catch him at the right time to actually get that off.
And you would think with three people in your party, it'd be a lot easier. Dang! That's fine, whatever. This might get him. Nope, I lied. He had a whole lot more life left than I thought he did. Good lord. That took a while. to find true salvation by devoting themselves to the service of their Lord just as I did when the undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in a duty to serve was everything to me and I would not deny them that fulfillment, even if they must become a Kashik in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah, look, my lord. They are saved. Dang, we done lost Ezio from Assassin's Creed. Gosh dang. Crap. I wouldn't necessarily call that saved, but I guess they want to end their suffering, I guess. They are 
are saved. Found that. I should get this report to Cyril. All right, where's old Cyril at? Are you buying or selling? Ooh, got some sun braces to go up. That's good. A fine choice. Of course. Come again. All right. Where is Cyril at? I knew he's over here by. So, let's see. Uh huh. Careful how you pack that leather. Any crystals? It won't let me jump down there anyway. Scraps you are after. Thanks. Can't do without leather if I'm to polish these stones. Bruh, he's inside. Why am I dumb? My Lord Marquis, welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Thank you, my lord. He remained in Ash? He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm... sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were... Believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live. Even knowing that that life... was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right. I believe... that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will. The ultimate expression of it. <sighs> All right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve 
House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. These quests are getting extremely long. All right. That's sad though that he lost his brother, but I mean, good lord. Yeah, there's a lot of story in this game. A lot. Alright, so. Let's see. So now. Come up here to Raven Wit Walls. See what this uh, side quest got to do. How the devil do I get up there? Oh. Okay. So let's get let's just say. I was wondering, I was like, what the Doris is waiting for me near Belmung Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by a Kashik. I need to hurry. No, run away. Run away. Yeah, I'm really not trying to fight any unnecessary stuff unless I have to. There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with the Kashik. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad in right. the Tanabera. I hope not. See what we got going on up in here. Locked up tight. Uh, Final message, Captain Bears. Okay. I'm not reading all that, so. So this place was no ordinary prison. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. All right. That's what I'm talking about. If y'all want to read it, y'all can pause it. 
Minimal loss of Waluda lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Same thing. Y'all can read it. Oh, y'all can pause it if y'all want to read it. They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I feared. Nothing but a Kashik down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. I must say, I seen a way upstairs just a minute ago. All right. Downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even. And those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of. Whatever that means. I'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. I know where that right. goes. I'll be there in a moment. All right, so yeah, we gotta go back downstairs to that one spot. That we was in. Let's see. Well, I found a chest. It's got amber. <laughs> oh boy. A survivor. I see you. Afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But 
Something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. Of course they were. Thanks to Founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Theatrix sent you? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Oh my god, that sounds Monsters back. terrifying. Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right, you put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. Okay, that sounds terrifying. Oh, it's a goddamn behemoth. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. Well, can I find a way to get in there? There it is. Okay. Yeah, that's a mother freaking behemoth. This is a hunt. This is a hunt. Okay. You ain't like that, buddy. You ain't like it. Ooh. Ooh. That hit me. I got me. Oh, no. That one didn't get me. How? Okay. Bam! Nope, you dumb. Move. There we go, just beat his head in, son. Let's go. Slowly but surely, we're beating his head in. Nope, nope, no. I said no. Yeah, sit down. Uh oh. Yeah, what now? What you got? Nope. You thought. I'm thinking about getting Garuda back. Because with Garuda. So with Garuda, I got my what's we call it, all the time. 
Now they get it like once. No, sir. Nope, your thought. That might do it right there. Yep, that's what I thought. Let's go. That is a uh, hunt down and a freaking um, side quest down also. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine. I think. <gasps> oh, no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. 
for Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Gotta level up. That's what's up. Alright, I'm back at the hideaway, but I don't want to be back here, if you understand what I'm saying. Because I have one more out here. So I'll come back to the hideaway last. Because then that's the ending of a bunch of... Well, not a bunch, but a couple of side quests. So I'll go do this one first. And then... Why does that look like a hunt? Yeah. I don't know if it is, if it ain't, but I'm not willing to stick around to see if it is. Dang, dang, Joshua, slow down. Making me look bad. The entire village looks abandoned. Now, which house would I book where I'm living? from a distance no there it is okay but if what it says is true i need to get this back to the hideaway so soon stranger yep seen this coming we've been watching you from a distance so to speak subtle i know who you are and we need not waste time on introductions hand me the book leave it in our care and return to your life your care do you mean to burn it or bury it that is not my decision to make, but by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. Yeah, I like to see you try, buddy. Like to see you try, buddy. See, shall we? I keep on forgetting to change. Sit down. Oh. 
Yeah, I think after this one, I think I'm going to change back to Garuda. Oh, that just sounded nasty. Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book, for now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. Wait! Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. Yep, so now this should be everything. Now I think everything... Wait, what? Turn from a distance of Vivian. Where the devil is... Why is Vivian... Why is Vivian over here? Let's thought she was at the hideaway. Wait, 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 wait. Before I forget... Uh, where we at? Go back to Garuda. Uh, I don't want these on anymore right now. Well, yeah, I might as well because I'm about to go against. Because after these side quests, it goes back to the main quest, so I'll need them. What the devil? Where am I going? I have no freaking clue. I got to go all the way over here just to get over there. Is that a tree? All right. I don't need to ride from here. Okay, this that's fine. Finish. Hopefully the registry is still here. I 
thought that was uh, disposed of. I wasn't exaggerating. This reads like a suicide note. Did the director go through with his plan? Search for the floor. Uh, okay. There's only one way to find out. This must be the registry. So many names. This place was a slaughterhouse. And where is the architect of all this misery? I suppose. This place is cursed. That's what I'm talking about. Seeing that right there, too. I mean, Bahamut was okay, but... I mean, there's just something about the Garuda, man. Boom, just like that. That's what I'm saying, man. is Herman. <gasps> is that? Uh, yep. One, two, three is all at the hideaway. The field marshal has agreed to your plan. Ha! <laughs> of course he has. I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Port Azolder as we speak. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Who, exactly? Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution, and I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned Liberator. 
One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. But yes. Another outlaw, then. Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier, eh? Uncle. Assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. Well, the old battleaxe was so pleased. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Now... I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Of course, Uncle. And how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with Akashic? you find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. Oh, says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen. Perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And what kind of company are you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! Criminal? How... How dare you! You are not fit to breathe the same air as this... Fine! Upstanding young gentleman! Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw! Once more unto the breach. <laughs> that was funny. <sighs> Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation, nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. If we show them the path, show them that we walk it ourselves, then I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands, but the well-being of her people lies in ours, and we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Uncle Byron, I... Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. 
Rutherford, Mike Will. Well, my boy, the stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities, that you might have the opportunity to shine. The realm needs its Sir Crandall. And there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I uh, want you to keep this signed accord as proof of our faith in you. I will. Thank you, Uncle. Just. All right, it's one down, two more to go.